Interval scale versus ratio scale. The interval scale and ratio scale are variable measurement scales. These two offer a quantitative definition of the variable characteristics. But what is the difference? The difference between interval scale and ratio scale comes from their ability to dip below zero. Interval scales hold no true zero and can represent values below zero. For instance, we can measure temperatures below zero degrees Celsius, such as minus 10 degrees. Ratio variables, alternatively, never fall below zero. Height and weight measure from zero and above, but never fall below it. An interval scale lets us measure all quantitative attributes. Any measurement of interval scale can be counted, subtracted, added or ranked and equal intervals separate each number on the scale. Yet, these measurements don't provide any sense of ratio between one another. A ratio scale has the same properties as interval scales. We can use it to subtract, add or count measurements. Ratio scales differ by having a character of origin, which is the beginning or zero point of the scale. Interval ratio scales comparison. A brilliant example of interval scales is measuring temperature. The temperature in an air-conditioned room is 16 degrees Celsius, while the temperature outside the room is 32 degrees Celsius. We can conclude the temperature outside is 16 degrees higher than inside the room. But if we said, it is twice as hot outside than inside, we would be incorrect. By stating the temperature is twice that outside as inside, you're using zero degrees as the reference point to compare the two temperatures. Because it's possible to measure temperature below zero degrees, we can't use it as a reference point for comparison. We must use an exact number, such as 16 degrees, instead. Interval variables are commonly known as scaled variables. They're often expressed as a unit, such as degrees. In statistics, mean, mode, and median can also define interval variables. A ratio scale displays the order and number of objects between the values of the scale. Zero is an option. This scale allows a researcher to apply statistical techniques like geometric and harmonic mean. Where we cannot imply that the temperature is twice as warm outside because it's an interval scale, we can say we are twice another's age because it's a ratio variable. Age, money, and weight are common ratio scale variables. For example, if we are 60 years old and our child is 30 years old, we can precisely claim we are twice their age. Interval ratio scale measurements. Understanding the different scales of measurement allows us to see the different types of data we can gather. These differences help us determine the kind of statistical analysis required for our research. Here is a brief description of the difference in interval and ratio levels of measurement. The interval level of measurement classifies and orders a measurement. It specifies a distance between each interval on a scale is equivalent, from low interval to high interval. For example, the difference between 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as 110 degrees Fahrenheit and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to having the same qualities as interval levels, ratio levels can have a value of zero. The cost difference between the two pairs of shoes that are $20 and $40, respectively, is the same as the cost between two pairs that are $40 and $60. However, we won't find shoes that cost less than $0.